there, you bunch of slags. It's Sakuraba1982 here, bringing you Terror Drome, the fan-made free game. The link to download the game is below in the video description, where you pick your favourite horror movie icon and beat the shit out of icons you don't like quite as much as your favourite icon. I've had a few requests. I said um, I was going to do Ash from Evil Dead 2 next. Um, I've had a request from... One of my favourite channels on YouTube, Take That 88, he drinks beer and does it on camera and dances to 90s music. So, as the request has come from Take That 88, I'm going to do a Leatherface next. And then it's going to be a toss up between Evil Dead's Ashley Williams and probably Freddy Krueger. So, let's go. At the request of Take That 88, here we have Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Enjoy. Leatherface geared up for battle. Alrighty, guys. Now, as with any of this, um, it's me figuring out his moves. I haven't actually even looked at his move list, which is stupid because I normally do that. Fight. Right. Right, so it's... Okay. Obviously, he's going to be a, a pressure character. Oh, brutal. Bon appetit, bitch. As far as weapons coming at you, there's not a lot that's more terrifying than a chainsaw. It just doesn't stop, does it? It's absolute brutality. Ow. Oh, the meat hammer. Did you know, folks, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Toby Hooper was actually hoping for a PG rating. As crazy as that sounds. I'm trying to figure out his moves here, guys. I might have a sneaky look at the move list. Oh, there we go. Dragon Punch with hard weapon is this diving um, chainsaw attack there. Yeah, it's crazy as that seems, man. Texas Chainsaw Massacre as a PG. Can you imagine that? I think the funny thing with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is it's the original 70s movie is it doesn't actually show you that much. When the woman's put on the hook, you don't see it. It's implied. Um, there is a lot of horrid imagery in it, you know, sort of animal bones and a very oppressive atmosphere, especially at the end uh, where the woman's kind of tied down with the crazy family, you know. Um, so it's kind of more of an atmosphere thing that creates the... Oh, this is pre-zombie Jason. People who are... Um, fans of Friday the 13th a lot of them consider that prior to number 4 where um, Jason is killed by Corey Feldman they consider him a just a normal freakish human being rather than a zombie from part 6 onwards they consider him a zombie Jason who is even more powerful but From sort of um, part four onwards, you, ne you um, never see Jason run again. You know, you do see him run in the early, early movies. Oh, I was trying for my jump then. So I try and be clever and get the jump again. Jesus, man. There we go. A little shoulder barge. He... Me trying to be clever almost cost me the round there, folks. Fight. 
I mean, the Friday the 13th franchise, you can understand why the censors didn't like it. It's hard, they are hardly cinema, uh, cinematic masterpieces, but they are the film where you root for the anti-hero, you know? You always kind of root for Jason in those films in some way. Ooh. Gotcha. It's the meat, the meat hammer, which he gets his first kill with in the uh, first movie. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre are actually some films where the remakes, you know, um, the 2003 remake, it's actually maybe in some ways better than the original movie. I um, like the return of the sergeant from Fort Metal Jackets as sheriff. I think he's typecast very well as the uh, horrible sergeant, uh, uh, sheriff. Wow, Candyman. 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 Jesus. That was 2D fighting game. Corner rapage. Fight. Oh, oh, oh. In essence, I think Leatherface is so far the easiest character to play with. He's quite basic. He just swing like a madman at your enemy, just like he does in the films, really. But uh, who knows what Toby Hooper is thinking going for a PG rating for that film, man. Sometimes it doesn't have to be sex or violence. Sometimes it can just be a film is messed up. And that scene where they're all sitting around at the end for their family dinner and the old man's drinking the blood from her finger, that is messed up. Fatu, Verata. Fatu, <laughs> He said the words. Basically, he said them. Anyone who knows me in real life knows I'm an absolutely massive Evil Dead fan. Um, I actually have an Evil Dead tattoo on my left shoulder with Ash with his chainsaw and with the Necronomicon as well as the uh, skull from the, the cover of the second movie in the comic book style. It's really cool. I say people know me for my mixed martial arts content, man, but I'm much more of a horror fan than I am a mixed martial arts fan. I grew up with horror, man. That's really my my thing. Oh, jumping chainsaw attack to Ashley Williams. Brutality at its finest, folks. Fight. If you uh, don't block it, those little ashes um, hold you in place. Oh, Evil Dead as well. I absolutely adore the Evil Dead remake. You know, every sort of fan of a classic film gets chilled down their spine when they say they're going to remake something. You know, please don't mess it up. I think they took the right approach with Evil, Evil Dead remake, man. There's no humour in it. They've gone completely for the uh, horror aesthetic. But at the same front, as, as good a film it is, Bruce Campbell, to me, is integral to Evil Dead. He's a B-movie actor. He plays off being an asshole, just like he does in uh, a little bit in Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. Just perfectly, man. He's just that lovable asshole, you know. Uh, Give me some sugar, baby. You're not leading two things, but now Jack and shit and Jack left town. All these wonderful lines. Army of Darkness is so quotable. I've um, watched Army of Darkness quite a few times with my missus, and she just says to me, I don't understand why people love this film so much. It's, it's kind of funny, but it's not that great. And I'm just like, it's one of my best films of all time. <laughs> it's probably my top five, actually, Army of Darkness. So 
Hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. So, I played as Michael Myers in my last uh, playthrough. Actually, got to use him quite a bit, get used to his character quite a bit. He's uh, a little bit underrated. For me, anyway. I don't know how many people actually play this game, in honesty. It's quite it's quite rare on YouTube. I type this in, and you get people showing you the special moves, but you don't get many people doing playthroughs like I'm doing. These are the sort of videos that, in three years' time, might I might come back to, and it's got, like, loads of views on it, you know? Um, a little bit like my Aliens vs. Predator 3 Let's Plays on my old channel. Did shit views at first, and now they're on like 300,000 views each. YouTube's a funny thing, man. It has to have a certain amount of likes and a certain amount of um, interaction for it to kind of be picked up in the algorithm. And it, the video kind of, you see it, the lifespan of a video kind of take off. You know when people are really starting to notice it because the views jump up really quickly. But, uh,. I don't do this just to get mega views, man. I do this because I find it fun. Right, now, this is the level that gives me problems on YouTube. Because of the background music, YouTube seems to always pick up the copyright on this level. And I've had to um, get YouTube to remove the video, uh, the music, automatically. So if you're not hearing any music in this, it's because YouTube's picked it up. Jesus, man. Herbert West. Oh. I actually saw him in... I know I'm shouting a little bit, sorry. Um, I saw him in a movie recently called Would You Rather, which is on Netflix, which is quite interesting. I didn't recognise it was him until about halfway through the movie. It's kind of like this game show, and they bring all these people to dinner and sit them around the table and say, would you rather stab that person through the hand or this woman through the leg? And they have to make a choice, and it gets steadily, it gets worse. And the winner gets loads of money. It was a nice little film, man. Not something that I would rave about, but it was, it was definitely worth a watch. Huh. Oh, okay. I can put down traps as well. Let's just get a combo in and get in the way. There you go, it's a trap. So. Brutal. Oh, yeah, baby. What's my most memorable scene from, <clears throat> from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I think in the first film, it's probably going to be a bit cliche because it's going to be very similar to what a lot of people's most remembered scene is. It's the dance that Leatherface does when the girl gets away with his chainsaw at the end. Yes, I know I'm spamming, but he doesn't seem to be able to block it, so let's just go nuts. Oh, Jason! Jason destroyed! I believe that was a perfect... Again, special shout out to Take That 88. Do check his channel out. Um, completely different to mine, don't get me wrong. Um, he goes and drinks beer on the camera, dances to 90s music. Lots of fun, you know. I like fun channels where people do stuff that's a little bit different and you go and watch their videos and just piss off, Jason. This revenge. Come on. Gotcha! That was useful, look. Bone appetite, bitch. Yeah, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, probably. Sorry, I'm changing subjects all over the place here just because I'm live commenting this video. Yeah, I think the dance at the end of um, he's swinging his chainsaw about in the original film. I am pain. And I think in the uh, remake, it's probably got to be the scene where the sheriff has got the poor guy in the car and he's making him reenact the murder in the car where he's, he's the girl shot herself through the face. 
and he's having to pick the brain off the seat when he sits on the seat. That's probably what I remember about that film the most. But uh, Emery plays such a great part there as the, as the sheriff man. Really, really menacing. Is it James Emery, the, the sergeant from Full Metal Jacket? I'm sure someone will be able to tell me in the comments there, guys. Um, I know I always keep plugging this, guys, but my new channel, completely new style of content. I hope it's picking up how much happier I am in the videos and how much more I'm enjoying bringing you the content I want to bring you instead of the same old shit every video. Oh dear. See, that was a bad time to redo your chainsaw there, wasn't it, Leatherface? Now, that's really cool. I don't know how to do those super moves. Jumping chainsaw to the head of Pinface. Pinhead, sorry. We must be getting somewhere near the end. I think I've got Chucky and Scream to still fight. Tall Man from Phantasm. Or Maniac Cop. Fight. Out of all of the um, guys that you can fight in this, Maniac Cop's probably the only one out of the list I've only ever seen once. I should really make an effort to uh, watch the film again before I do the play for a Maniac Cop. Come on, bitch. Mallet to the dome. Mallet to the dome. This game, man, considering it's only like a couple of people who've made it, or one person who's made it, this is better than most than half the bloody movie license games out there. This is definitely kind of a an omen to developers say, look, ask us what you want us to make, and we'll make it. And they'll probably end up making loads of money. It's like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Squaresoft keeps saying, oh, we know best, we know best. We say to them, we want the Final Fantasy VII Remake. They say, fuck you, we know what we're doing. And then they complain, oh, Final Fantasy XIII and its sequels didn't do very well. Why didn't it do very well? Because you don't listen to us. We would love you to make this sort of game. I don't care who makes it. Officially make it so we can play it online, man. It'd be awesome. Ah, oh, cheese, Chucky. How do you how do you like your cheese, Chucky? Gorgonzola, Stilton, Red Leicester. You're too short to reach me. What about good old Cheddar? Oh, and my combo can reach him as well because he goes high and low. The Lakeshore Strangler. It's quite difficult to deal with because of his height, though. There we go. Not really a challenge for Leatherface, I'd say. Charles Lee Ray. Hey, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Charles plays one of those uh, franchises that kind of mirrors 80s horror. Like Freddy started out, you know, started out trying to be scary and humour crept in the further that the franchise moved along. Yes, I know this is cheesy, but it's working. Consequently, The Bride of Chucky was my favourite Charles play film. Voiced by Brad Dorif. Perfectly uh, voice cast, I might add. Quite a lot when I see uh, Brad Dorif in films, when he gets angry, he does his Chucky voice. When he shouts, it's like you expect to see Chucky coming out in films, you know? When I watched um, The Exorcist 3, he kept doing his Chucky voice in that. Pumpkinhead. This is another film I've only ever seen once or twice, actually. I should really make an effort to watch it again. Um, someone in my last comments told me it was actually Stan Winston's first feature film. 
Lance Hendrickson of um, Aliens fame. Man, Leatherface is brutal. I've just got to keep spamming that combo and it goes high and low. It is, he would be a bitch in online play if someone decided to be aggressive. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. Fight. That tail whip is a bitch. Try and get closer to him. Really hard to get close to him. Come on. You're not going to. I had to say, you arsehole. Yeah, imagine being on the receiving end of Leatherface on my play, man. It would be really annoying. I think the way to deal with him is just not to let him attack. As soon as he starts wailing away, it's good night, Irene. Not a hope in hell. Right, I think this is probably going to be the tall man now, or Scream, and uh, I think this is the last one, last fight. It's the tall man. Fuck you, tall man. Your 70s hairstyle. You can do anything, you're just going to hold me like a... I was going to say a nasty word, yeah. So as the dwarf attempts to nosh me off. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to walk into that, am I? He attempts to get me this halitosis. There we go. Um, I am taking requests. You can see in the playlist who have already played, guys. You saw the uh, roster at the beginning of the video. I intend to do Freddy or Ashley Williams next, unless there's an overwhelming request for another character. I'm half anticipating people to ask for someone like Freddy, because he's one of the more well-known horror icons. I would like to play as Ash. That's quite annoying. Have it, you slag. Get in there, my son. Oh, look. It's actually um, not right not duplicating the writings. You can actually see the ending. That's, oh no, there we go. It's balls now. This is a fan-made game, guys, so there are a few glitches here and there. Unfortunately, the ending is one of them, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And that is the playthrough at request as Leatherface. I hope, sincerely hope you enjoyed the gameplay because I've really enjoyed playing the game. So I may or may not go and record my second one now and then schedule the upload for later but do leave in the comments if you'd like me to play as anyone specific thanks guys this is sakuraba signing off this is my boomstick